morning, Pastor. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Corey Brooks is settling into his makeshift office, a small bench that serves as a table inside a tent on top of eight shipping containers stacked in a vacant lot. Just last night, Brooks says he heard more than 30 gunshots fired down the street, and that's why he's here since mid-November. So much violence happens in Chicago that we've become desensitized. Uh, it's become normalized, but we don't want it to become normal. Brooks says he originally planned to stay on this rooftop for 100 days, hoping to raise $35 million to build a community center here that would provide safety and opportunity to people living in this community. So far, he's raised $10 million, an amazing accomplishment, he says, but not enough. My goal was to come down today after 100 days, but since we have not raised all the money that we need, I'm not going to leave. Cubs co-owner Todd Ricketts spent a night on the roof. So did former Bulls star Joachim Noah, among many others. Brooks says once people spend time here, they better understand the violence and chaos those who live here deal with every day. And he says his work is not yet done. All I know is my job is to stay right here, keep bringing attention to it, keep praying about it. Pastor Brooks says he has no idea how long it will take to raise the additional $25 million he needs to reach his goal. But he says whether it's a week, a month, or a year, he's committed. In the West Woodlawn neighborhood, John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.